Hello, I'm Xenocow, and in this episode of Bite Sized, I'll show you how data and power networks are transmitted around your ship. First of all, what even is a data network? In Starbase, all of the different components of your ship need to receive both power and data if they have anything that needs controlling. In this little example here, you can see a battery, a ore crate, some buttons, a YOLOL chip, a light, a spinning turntable, and all of these are wired up using cables. And these cables bring power from the battery to all of those devices so that they can all function properly. And so that the button can tell the lights to turn on. To place down a network, you're going to need a cable tool. And to place a cable, you're going to left click first where you want the cable to start, then left click again where you'd like it to end, and to delete cables, simply right click on any of the cable segments. The cable tool and cable magazines can both be bought from the Bolt store in the marketplace. Data and power can be transmitted through ore crates, batteries, YOLOL chip racks, many of the various buttons and control panels that you put in your cockpit, through hard points, and if you're feeling adventurous, through turret cradles by use of a pilot seat stand. All this in addition to the various other devices you'll find in the game with data ports on their sides. For more control over your networks, you can use relays to create master and slave networks. These arrows on the relay indicate which side is the master and slave. To the left of the arrows is the master, to the right the slave. Here we have two lights and two buttons. The green on one side of the relay and the blue on the other. If we press the blue side, both lights turn on as that's the master side. And if we press the green one, only the green light will turn on. Data is not transmitted backwards. And similarly, we can still alter the information on the slave side, but the master will always get to change the state of both sides. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you learned something, and if you have ideas for future bite-sized videos, please feel free to leave a comment saying as such. And before you go away, make sure to unsubscribe and dislike the video, uh, because no one likes Google. And this was Xenocow, signing off.